There Big E is. Getting prepared for tonight's hunt. Warming up. Don't overexert yourself there, buddy. I know. It can be exhausting. Almost you don't get your 22 hours of beauty sleep. You know, a lot of guys say no hunt on a full moon. I don't know. I've had mixed experiences with it. I've had some really bad nights, really good nights. I think a lot of it comes down to what kind of dog you got. If you got a dog, you know, get the job done. I don't think it'll matter too much. We'll see how it goes. One thing about hunting by yourself, you got to be the one to open your own gate. That's lame. Full moon and it is really windy, so we've got our excuses ready <laughs> just in case it doesn't go our way. Hopefully, we'll get one. Biggie's last uh, two nights, he's got it, he's you know, put one up. So, uh, just want to ride the hot hand, keep this dog in the woods as much as I can. All right, well, this looks like a pretty good place to park, turn out at. Ready to go, buddy? Come on, hop out. All right, buddy. Let's go get one. So the last two nights, he's treated a coon by himself and uh, you know, I'm really happy, but at the same time, working with a dog this young, patience is key. You know, he's still not at the point where I can just turn him loose and sit here and, you know, he's going to go several hundred yards until he finds a coon. You know, that's not the name of the game yet. Hey, cut it out. It's probably poop. He's, you know, he's still at the point where, you know, I pretty much got to walk with him and you know go where i think the coons will be put them right here you know by the creek which connects to a river over there i think this is a pretty good spot but uh you know he'll hunt but uh you know just gotta have patience with a young dog and just really appreciate what i have one thing i did learn about him last night when he was trailing that skunk he didn't open up he was smelling it, tracking it, but he didn't open up. Now with the coon, he opens up, he goes crazy. So that's one thing me as a handler, you know, learning my dog, especially right now, you know, I'm not using any type of shock collar or anything like that on him. I didn't even get mad at him last night when he, you know, was trailing that skunk. I'll break him off of it once I realize that it's not a coon, but as far as yelling and all that stuff, Nah, don't need to do any of that. He's smelling up over this. I don't know if it's a beaver dam or what. I'm hoping he'll go on down this, this creek. All right. So we hunted this first patch of woods. Not exaggerating. Four possums. Three beavers, zero reckon. Come on, boy. You're supposed to be out in front. Leading the way, buddy. <clears throat> you can go hunt this other patch. Same stream. Not too bad. Decent amount of water in there, but I'd say maybe knee deep in some places. No problem crossing over. Just need him to strike one. This is where the patience comes in. <laughs> Hanging around my feet, but I'm not going to yell at him. He's not playing. He's looking around. He's just not going out. This is the first time we've been in these particular woods, so... I don't know if that has anything to do with it, 
very good trees around here. They're out here. Just gotta find them. Oh, look at that. Crossing on his own. Look at that. He crossed it. See, stuff like that, man. Just small things like that. That's a big deal. Oh, he's. Come on. What a damn possum over here. You can tell it's a possum because they're so stupid. It's like they're either lazy or have no sense of danger or anything. Last night I had one just literally walk right up to us. Alright, so he just opened up. I like to think it's not a possum because, I mean, they've we've had like six of them cross right in front of us and he hasn't barked yet. <coughs> the only thing he's ever opened up on is a coon. Ain't lied to me yet. Going back to the whole patience thing. He wants the tree right here, but he's not sure about it. He really, that's the tree he was smelling on earlier. He really wants a tree on that. Patience, patience. Just get on him, boy. Get on him. Let's get that full cry magazine cover. There we go. <laughs> Talk to him, boy. Get on him. Just get on him, boy. Get on him, boy. Talk to him. Talk to him, Biggie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that. Get on him, boy. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Cross on over and boom, there's... Just get on him, boy. Talk to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I love this dog. How about them blue ticks? I just couldn't move. I'm gonna shoot him out. I'm not gonna film it. I'll pick it up afterwards. All right, went ahead and shot him. Try to climb to the top like they all do. Knocked him out, hit the ground. He was dead. I'm not trying to leave these coons with too much life in them. My pup still got his baby teeth in. <laughs> he's got heart, but he, you know he's not doing any damage. He can find them though. Good job, buddy. Proud of you. Proud of you. Yes, sir. So, yeah, that's pretty much where he's at right now. He's not, you know, it's not to, to the point I just turn him loose and he just goes on on his own. I pretty much got to walk with him. But when he strikes it, he trees it. Alright, back in the truck, heading back home. Tonight was another good night. Wind didn't bother us too much. You know, Biggie went on and did his job. He uh, he did good. Like I said, the hunt started off with us running across. Like I said, I'm not even exaggerating. There's at least five possum. And not all at once, you know, probably within a 20 minute span, we <clears throat> ran across five possum that we saw and uh, he tracked one of them and it was literally right, it was like right there, you know, like we, we saw the possum and he never opened up, 
and when I told him to cut it out, he immediately cut it out. So not too worried about him running trash. You know, for a puppy like that, that's a lot of temptation just to track anything, you know. But he didn't open up on it, so it's like he kind of knows. Not necessarily, he doesn't know not uh, necessarily that it's uh, bad, but he knows that's not what I want, if that makes sense. You know, he knows what we want is a coon. And when he hits a coon, he, he goes in on it. You know, and that's the main thing. It just a matter of time of uh, letting him develop at his rate, at his pace, which is a fast pace. And, uh, you know, finding that balance of uh, keeping him interested and not rushing him. He has a good life at home. He, you know, he when he's at home, he is our house dog. He's just a puppy. Kids are playing with him all day, sleeping all day, you know, laying on the couch and stuff. He's have, having a pretty good life from that aspect. But at night, get him in the woods, you know, <clears throat> all business from there on. And uh, I'm thinking the older he gets, you know, the more he matures, he's gonna start going further and further out away from me, won't be up under my feet so much. And like I said, it's not really an issue, you know, up until this week, every time I went out with him, I just would, I wouldn't even consider it hunting. I just consider it, hey, I'm walking my dog at night, getting him used to being in the woods, getting him used to that environment. And, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate that one of the locations that I hunt at <clears throat> is <laughs> loaded with coon. You know, like you go out there and all you do is shine your light and they're just out there. So fortunate enough to, you know, spotlight a few coons just to get them started, you know, have a little, few quick chases and stuff. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, he's, he's doing great. <clears throat> I can, I can't complain at all. You know, he's doing everything I've asked him to do, and then some. I didn't expect to, for him to be at this point until, honestly, I'd say about a year, you know, when he was a, my whole plan, I got him, his birthday was November 10th. My goal was by November 10th of uh, 2022 <clears throat> that he'd be, you know, able to have, uh, I'd be able to say that he's treated his own coon. And he's done that three times. <laughs> and we're not even anywhere near November. So let me stop bragging on my dog. All right, we're heading back to the house. Had a good night. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, like I said, my dog, he's a blue Gaskin. And there's a lot of, you know, blue tick videos and stuff, which technically, I mean, he's still blue tick, but not a lot of blue Gaskin, uh, whether it's videos or just information out there, you know, and I'll be honest. <clears throat> Before I got him, I had no idea what a blue Gaskin was. I just thought a blue tick was a blue tick was a blue tick. And then, you know, it wasn't until I, you know, acquired him after that. Then I started doing more research after I found out, you know, what that breed's all about. But, yeah, I'll keep making these videos as much as I can. And hopefully you guys enjoy them and uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Good job. Good night.